Welcome back to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a study on the undercut. An undercut is different than a disconnection, though an undercut is disconnected. It's generally referring to two different things. An undercut generally refers to is I'm going to cut the nape of a haircut completely short and let the hair hang over it, or I'm going to cut one side completely short and let the hair hang over that. So we're going to show you how to section out to make it fit the client's head, whether we want to keep something kind of subtle or if we want to go full blown edgy. So let's get started. The most general, I think probably the easiest undercut to get into is where we're going to section out the nape. So what I'll do is I'll go through and take a natural or center part back to the occipital bone occipital bone straight down to the center of the spine. Let me do that proper. So it's going to separate left of the head from the right of the head. Now once I get here, I want to go ahead, lay the comb against the head where it's flat against the head is going to be occipital bone to the mastoid. Now when I separate this section, this is probably the most subtle way of doing an undercut because I can take this hair here crop it really, really short, let all the hair hang over it, and it's not really going to be visible unless the hair is going to get shorter. But this is a way to remove a lot of bulk from somebody's hair if it's very, very thick. It's also a way to make the shape collapse and not be quite so bulbous and bell-like in the back. So this would be a step one, the most subtle form of undercut in the nape. So the next section would be I'll lay the comb against the head. You see where it's flat right there against the head? That would be one. It's flat against the head right there. That would be two. And I'll take that all the way over to the top of the ear. This is going to remove quite a bit more hair, usually more hair than I want to remove for an undercut. So what I'll do is I'll separate this in half. I'll take half of that and go right to the center of the ear. And this way, gives me level two of undercut in the nape. That way I can buzz all this hair really, really short. If they're, especially if the hair is thick, it can really remove that shape and collapse it and make it much more head hugging. And I won't have that puff if they have very, very thick hair. And I usually don't want to go higher than this because if I go higher than this, it starts to kick the shape forward. This is about as high as I would like to go in the back to make sure it fits the head. So you can really see from a side profile here how that's going to remove all of this hair underneath and then this hair on top can lay over that and really make it much more of a hugging pleasing shape. So this would be level two in the back. It's going to be much more edgy. And then after I buzz it, I can go through and put designs in it, lines, I'll make a mandala, all, all different types of fun shapes. So I've gone and sectioned off occipital to mastoid on longer hair and we want to take some of the bulk out of the back. It's just too much back here, so we're going to undercut the back. So I'm going to, again, go with my number four, which is about a half inch, and I'm going to cut this short. Now, I want to be careful and mindful to not cut into my section. I'm going to pull everything out, roll right up and through. Right up and through. Now I'm pulling this away so I make sure I don't go into my parting above. I can clean that up later. I just want to get rid of majority of this hair. Here we got that. Boom. There we go. Pretty simple and straightforward. Now I'm going to go through, lay my hand against the parting, and just go through and make sure I get everything cut nice and even and clean. I'm not C-shaping my sections, meaning I'm not carving it out like this. I want to get everything the same length. So sometimes I'll have to go at a different angle, but just keep going over it until everything becomes the same length. And again, I'll go through and just taper this in just a little bit, just around the edges to make sure everything is nice and clean. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also click the notification bell to be updated on any new content that we post.
All right, so we got our shape nice and groomed and clean and tight. Now at this point, the thicker the hair is, the shorter we can go on it. I mean, you could take it all the way to skin, but I tend to like a little bit of hair. And according to how edgy that the client wants to go, this is a good step into it by just taking the nape short. Any kind of design that you want to put into it usually looks better and, and a little bit more contrasty and bold if you have a little bit more length on it. So here is our uh, lovely model. She's uh, been so gracious to have a little undercut in the back, which helps because her hair was so thick. So I've separated it so you can kind of see where it's at, but you could also go through and ponytail it and that would expose it as well. So to do on the side of the head, I'm gonna use the front hairline as my guide for how high I'm gonna take it. And then I'm always gonna go back to the quarter part and then down to the mastoid. That way it separates, it keeps it just on the side of the head. So a more subtle approach is we're gonna take the bottom of the recession straight back to the quarter part And then from the quarter part, we're going to arc that down into the mastoid, which is that bump right by the ear. So this section size would be the most subtle way of going through and cutting something. So you can get a little bit of that undercut without it being very, very difficult to grow out and without it being too edgy that it's gonna constantly show. The higher up we go, the more it's gonna show. This is something that if you have a bob shape or something, is completely hidden, and even when they move, it's hardly gonna be seen, but it gives you a little weight removal and a little bulk removal, so it slims the shape out as well. So the next level of sectioning that I may take on the side would be the center of the recession. So the hairlines always come back to a recession. It comes forward to a point the point comes back and then down to the hairline right over the ear. So I'm gonna take the center of the recession straight back. Once that gets to the quarter part, find my ear, quarter part's gonna be about there. I'll start to curve that and arc that down to the mastoid. So we're going to the same spot but this helps me take more hair and make that undercut on the side much more visible and much more edgy. And it also removes a lot more weight. Now, so this would be like a, a second level of sectioning that will purposely fit the head perfectly and remove weight. Now, to make this much more edgy, I'm gonna take as much hair as I can off the side while still fitting the head. So from here, I'll take the top of the recession, which is where it's the parietal ridge basically. So the top of the recession is the parietal ridge and I'll take that straight back to the quarter part. And then from the quarter part, I'll arc that down into the mastoid yet again. So this is gonna show and reveal a lot more of that undercut and make it much more visible. So even if hair tends to fall over it, especially if it's on the light side of my parting, so if I'm parting over here, there's not gonna be a whole lot of coverage of it, but yet it's still gonna fit the head and still look pleasing. All right, so now to cut this, I don't want to graduate the shape at all. The, the whole idea of the undercut is everything that's gonna be undercut is gonna be the same length. And that's part of what makes it edgy. If I was to taper it, it wouldn't have the same kind of aesthetic. So I like it all being one length. Now maybe I'll taper it in a little bit closer over the ear, but I don't wanna go through and really taper this a lot. So I'll take my half inch guard, lay it right on the clipper, and just cut everything the same length. Follow us on social media at Jatai Academy. We've got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, we got it all. Being mindful to make sure that the clipper and the comb stays right on top of my parting and I try to keep that as clean as possible. Ah, get back there.
clean that up just a little bit right over the ear and right behind the ear since I can't move my model's ear I gotta kinda work around it so as I comb everything back here you can kinda see where that's gonna fall over and if I brush that back it's much more visible than if I was to keep that section lower I, I think that that what really makes the undercut is that it's not all undercut here and disconnected you know so disconnection takes the top cuts everything off underneath and hangs over that but an undercut really exaggerates just one area being cut really short and it pops more and here is our end result of the undercut on the side so nice little exposure the further over you part it to the undercut the more visible that the undercut's going to be so I hope that this video has helped give you uh, a little bit of an idea on how to precisely place where you want your undercut to be and also how much of an undercut you want and how edgy that that's going to be. So please check out Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great stuff over there as well. And please leave any questions or comments below. and We'll get back to you and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Hey.